Hi and welcome to tutorial 11, Essay Writing 1, Planning Your Time. The next series of tutorials is designed to talk you through the different aspects of essay writing. We'll look at how to prepare for essay writing and then we'll look at the different sections of an essay and how you might go about writing them. Before starting, it's recommended that you complete tutorials 1 to 10 to ensure that you've got to grips with academic writing. In this first short tutorial, we'll consider the first step of essay writing and provide you with some tips on how to plan your time. So by the end of the tutorial, you should know what an essay is and the different tasks involved in writing an essay, how to plan your overall workload, and how to break essay writing down into manageable chunks and plan your time around them. On the social work programme, you'll be assessed regularly in your written work. In level one, almost all assessments will be written assignments. Essay writing can be a daunting task, especially for students who've been out of education for some time. But if you do feel worried about essay writing, you'll soon learn that you're definitely not alone and most of your classmates feel the same way. As you'll be required to write essays as part of your course, it's important that you understand what an essay is. An essay is a written document which discusses, explains and or analyses a topic in a well-structured way. Typically this means that you'll be given an essay question and expected to read around the topic and present a well-structured discussion that answers the question. This means that essay writing requires you to read around a topic and select relevant information, then use that information to, to write a response to the question demonstrate an understanding of the subject area and reference all the sources that you draw upon in your writing. You might find at first that the course is easy to manage and that you don't really have a lot of coursework to do. But as time goes on and the modules gather pace, you could find yourself having to submit several essays around about the same time. So to make life easy, the best thing to do is at the start of the course, make a list of all the essays that you're required to submit by the end of the session. The module handbooks will provide the assignment guidelines and submission dates. So at the start of the course in September, make a list of those assignments that are due in December. It's a good idea to keep your list of submission dates somewhere obvious, such as on a wall or even the fridge door, so that you're regularly reminded of them. And once you've done that, you can then decide when you're going to spend time on each essay. Don't fall into the common trap of leaving everything until last minute. It's just not worth the panic or risk of having to do a resubmission. Once you've allocated time to different assignments and you're ready to work on a particular essay, a good starting point is to break the essay down into its different components. If you're tasked with writing, let's say, a 2,000 word essay, it's easy to put the task off because it seems too scary. So breaking the essay down into its different parts will help motivate you and see the task as being much, much more manageable. At this stage, you probably won't be familiar with all the different components that are involved in writing an essay, but it is useful to have a think about what these might be. Pause the video and jot down what you think are the different tasks that are involved in writing an essay. This slide gives an example of the different tasks that are involved in essay writing, and you might be surprised to see how many there are. As mentioned earlier, being aware of these different aspects of essay writing is useful not only for your time management, but to help you see essay writing as a series of small tasks rather than one big, huge, daunting one. First of all, you'll need to spend some time interpreting the question. And as we'll see in the next tutorial, this can often take a lot longer than you might think. After that, you'll need to spend some time selecting reading materials to inform your essay and considerable time reading around the topic. You'll then need to spend some time planning a layout, writing a first draft, reviewing that first draft and then making changes in proofreading before submitting. So as you can see, 
Essay writing can be quite a time consuming process, so it's important that you plan your time well in advance. As shown in this slide, a useful way of planning your time around a particular essay is to create a table like this one and allocate time to each individual task. Until you've got a bit more practice, it'll be hard to know how long it'll take you to complete each task. So at first it's a good idea to overestimate the time you'll need. Once you've worked out how long it'll take for each of the different tasks, the final stage in your planning is to decide when you'll work on each one. If you don't already have a diary, it'd be useful to get one so that you can transfer your plan to it. This will help give you a series of mini goals that will help to keep your motivation levels up. If you don't do this, you do run the risk of underestimating the time involved in writing an essay, especially if it's been a long time since you've written one. So to sum up, the first step in good essay writing is to plan your time around the various assignments that you're required to submit by the end of the session. When planning your work on individual essays, be clear of the different tasks involved. If you leave it too late, you won't have time for all of these and your work won't be as good as it could be. Break each essay down into these different tasks and allocate time to work on each, each one. This kind of planning will help you to feel in control of your workload, keep up your motivation levels and ensure that you meet deadlines.